I'm going to create a file and I'm going to put it inside here. So we're going to do a little test. So uh, to create a file, it's very simple. Just like creating a um, a club. Right, to add a file, simply just right click on there and we're going to say add. And we, this time we're going to say uh, new item. And the new item here is going to be just basically a text file. So let's find text file. There it is. If I call it, what shall we call it? Let's call it test uh, one dot txt. And I say add. Let's move it here so we can actually see it. Um, I'm going to write some instructions in there. So add two to uh, subtract three one. Uh, multiply and maybe we can have a complicated one like 2 2 so let's say multiply 5 and so yeah we've got different um, expressions there and what we want to do we want to save that so we've got that file now and now the idea is to see if we can actually access that file we can see that it's actually located down here so it's in Intel calc and then text one test one dot text so let's run the application so we have the application here um, now what I need to do is I need to actually give it the absolute path so the absolute path the way to find it is to actually click on properties where the file is and it actually tells you the file path there so this is where we save text test one dot txt get back to the application again and I'm just going to paste the whole location, it's a very long way um, the best way is to actually place it on a desktop or, s or on a path that's slightly shorter than that um, but this is okay for just debugging just now so this is the path and I, all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on add file it says file added if I click on view file here we go, we've got that equation there if I click result nothing is going to happen because we haven't code that button in yet. If I click clear all it will clear it, view file again, view it, clear, view. There you go. So that works fine. Um, and that that's pretty much it for this part.